discuss why I chose University College Dublin for my Masters in HCI and why not US and what you should do. If you are interested in that, let's get started. I graduated in 2021 but I applied for fall 2021 so I started my application process in like December 2020 so I applied to just a couple of universities to just see like where I stand I applied to like IUB Indiana University Bloomington which is in US and then IUB UI and the next was Arizona State University and from those three I got admit to like uh, two universities it was uh, Indiana University Bloomington and IUB UI uh, and I also got like little scholarship from IUB. If you know about IUB, it's like one of the best university for HCI. Uh, it's Indiana University Bloomington. I thought if I can get into IUB, maybe if I will apply after one to two years, I might get into University College Maryland, University of Washington, and University of like Michigan. I might get into the top colleges. So, uh, and also I like I got a full time job in the April. I graduated in May, but in the month of uh, April, I got a full time job so I thought why not like work for one to two years and then ag apply again I deferred my admission from IUB for the next year and I joined like US based startup it was amazing and I joined as a UX designer and researcher so I started working there and I worked for like around one and a half years after that I again applied for masters I applied for like fall 2022 uh, so this time I applied to all the top universities such as like University of Pennsylvania, UT Austin, University of Washington, University of Maryland. I applied to all the top schools. I divided the list of university in three categories. So last one was safe, second one was a moderate university and the first one was ambitious university. So ambitious means like all the top universities in which there are chances that I might get in but there are like pretty less chances. Because so finally the result came in and I got like reject from all my ambitious universities and it was a bummer for me because I thought I might get into like one of those top universities but I did not get in. I started rethinking of my MS decision. I already had a like well paying job in India so moving to US just for money was not my option. Before applying for masters I made like two rules. Uh, if I will get into top universities then I will take a huge loan and then I will go or else if i will get into mediocre universities with huge scholarship then i will consider it but it didn't happen i got admit from mediocre universities but i did not get any scholarship and for me it didn't make sense to take like huge amount of loan like fifty thousand eighty thousand dollar of loan and go for masters for mediocre universities i called one of my friend who was already studying in ireland and i explained him all this thing so he told me why not you so he told me why not you try applying in ireland too the time i realized that I can also apply to these universities. It was already the month of July and it was pretty late because the session starts in September and it was already July. So most of the colleges like they closed their application but there was still one week for UCD. So I applied to UCD and after like a couple of weeks I got admit from UCD and I also got like huge scholarship. I got like 5000 scholarship from UCD and after considering the scholarship my tuition fees came to 15,000 euro which was not pretty much when I compared to US so after like talking to so many people and after like making pros and cons I finally decided UCD because uh, it was like one of the most prestigious university second thing was the tuition fees was less and I don't have to take like student loan or like huge education loan third thing was like it was just a one year course so after thinking so much and after talking to so many people I finally made my decision to join UCD I hope this video helps you in making your decision and if you have any questions do let me know in the comment I will definitely reply it or you can also reach me out on LinkedIn and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and if you did like this video do like it and subscribe it to my channel.